That's that morale boost you need. And look at No Tail as well. He's trying to contest these bounty runes. Don't often see this Radiant team playing into the bottom bounties. GH does get the stun. Two for two across the board. And no tail there with the early heavenly grace as we heart snipes out the courier of RTW. Taking a bit of damage on the way out. Oh, Saxa will die. Mind control under the tower with a gush and the right click hit. Kuro TPs all the way back to Fountain. So Sam's going to be left here with a straight 1v1, at least for now. No sorceries avail! MC? He's dead to Saxa. They just go back in with the stuns they've got. Stormhammer arrow. Yeah, he runs back with his boots. And then in that mid lane, 5 0 for 5 0. Very even between Miracle and Topson. But Oracle level 3 really is that massive turning point when you, you go from 90 to 180 burst damage on the Purifying Flames. Start chaining them all together. Oh. They nearly had Kuro there. Radiance top tower but Kotal with boots. Attack. Plenty of movement speed to dodge the arrow in the end. Down in that bottom lane, Dar Observer Ward scouting out and allowing GH here to try and drag waves around. Contesting under the nose of LTW. Leaving a kind of weird 1v1 between No Tail and Wii. Omni versus DP. mid. Fortune's end. Ah, doesn't quite connect. Fraction of a second too late there. GH is also going to rotate in to make sure there's no follow through. Yeah, Thompson might actually be in a bit of trouble if he steps forward again. Radiant yeah, he's playing out of that vision range. You know, there's like, like a little bit of vision on the ramp. Tipping GH. Oh, he's got the ward. He saw him move there. <laughs> Stop wasting your time. And there's the roll in with the Phantom Strike. Kick back. Topson has a fairy fire to play around with. And the Heavenly Grace, but he's still going to fall. No tail. Can't do too much after that. Well, bottom, we, no more spirit siphons, and the right clicks from RTW, one more will get him another bone, ooh, the fairy fire, RTW going in very deep, he's going to die to tower here, traded out by we. Extraordinarily close. That's the thing, you know, you were saying this lane setup from Nigma. the fact that Slark wants to keep chasing the DP. Miracle, oh my god, the Purifying Flames, he's got Fairy Fire and the final click! Topson gets him with a touch of the right-click attack. We're right, going in for more. He sure is. Radiant he's been a real aggressive top. little fishy boy. Mind Control's going to give him another Essence Shift stack. Three built up for him now. Four minutes in. First rotation of the Slark. Now GH dying as Topson. He just burst him down at the bottom rune. Got 
to be so careful. Topson doesn't really have enough mana here to keep pressing that damage forward, but he's got clarity, he's got earn. Do you think it's the same? Do you think he's like figured out this build now? Double null, earn, um, brown boots, e blade, bloodstone. Every game. <laughs> <laughs> the Bounty. price is mine. GH. Try to snipe out a bounty rune. Now, on the run away from Saxa. TPing on top. <laughs> Here's Oracle. They've got another roll. GH will get into the trees. Ooh, hiding out there, but the arrow scouts him out. Doesn't land. Leap forward. Saxa has another leap charge to try and give vision. They've got the burst damage they need. Took a while. <laughs> TP. Try and get out. Oh, it's 7 to 3, there's 10 kills, and RTW is close to death himself. Level 5 Slark, sprinting away as Nigma makes that lane swap again, putting DP against him. Oh, and the classic, the, the first TP, -er, the disadvantage you have. Dyer's middle tower, it's under no attack. Sure are. And they've got a decent amount of damage. Mind Control's a tanky boy, and they've got the TPs arriving. Back up from GH. Mind Control turns, swings his big anger. No tail dropping low, and RTW. It's a bit of burst damage from the console that illuminates good, but they're purifying, and the heals arriving from No Tail allow them to turn. Seb whacking into GH, and another slay there as RTW takes up a double kill. Radiant structures are fortified. I guess he kind of has to, like, with no empower, with no steroid to really allow him to accelerate. Yeah. Radiant are scanning. I mean, your stat gain is pretty garbage on Slark. Holy crap. Wait, is that, is that right? Slark has less than two stats per level on every stat. Mid lane, mid lane. Oh my god, the burst onto Miracle. Arrow not connecting, and in comes Wee. Exorcism pop to chase down Topson. No tail body blocking. He's not got any more heals, but Topson still has the Heavenly Grace on him, so he's all fine. And Slark coming in from Sam. Wee's going deep. He wants Topson, and my, he'll have it. Finds the Oracle all the way in the back while Seb gets daggered, slowed, the boulder smash connecting, and there's the Spirit Siphon, doubled now for that DP of we. They can even transfer into the mid-tier one if they want to. The ghosts are still going. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. <laughs> Illusion. Great onto them. Great move in for Wee. Buys a lot of space for that PA now as well. And Miracle, he's got Battle Fury queued up. Might take a little while, but he'll get there in the end. Pretty happy, but when Topson keeps chaining those purifying flames, and you can see the way he does it. He flames once, waits, you know, just a fraction of a second, throws the fortunes end, flames again, then it dispels both of the the heals coming out of the back end of it. The next label play. Level play. Yeah, burning through a lot of raindrop charges as well as miracle. So now we're left with Mind Control alone bottom. He's cracked level six. No Tails here trying to do exactly the same thing. The rest of OG, they are kind of around their own triangle area, but no one's farming it right now. RTW is actually pretty far forward with Saxa there. 
Pyro and GH will meet the Slark in the jungle. Radiant Snipe out the Courier on its way out as well. The Slark sees an opportunity to come down bottom. Can they? Thanks for that. That pesky DP. Oh, Bounty Rune's coming and Topson. A bit of a risky play going into this area. Immediately ravaged, blown up by Miracle. The All right then. Time. The roll from GH. Oh, he, yeah. Oh, but the, oh, what? Radiant the arrow was flying. Final projectile from the right click of Marana. Hell yeah. A good little move from Wee though. Second exorcism gets him a tier one in the mid lane, starting that Omni Knight. Moonlight Shadow gives them a nice bit of safety there as Thompson turns with a bit of damage. Who have they found? Cottle. Will O Wisp is dropped onto Sven's head. Kuroki expending his ultimate and escaping with his life. E everywhere you look. Oh my god, is Kuro dying? Yeah, fortune's end. Now you're and look what's queued up for Topson. Radiant <laughs> the... scanning. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. The T-Blade is coming. Enigma making a move towards RTW. That's Slark. He's got his hand on Midas. He's used it once. Surrounded by Enigma heroes, though. And oh, look at him. He's slipping out of there. He's escaped. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Be fearless. He doesn't have Ravage, Dyer's so not really a fight that Enigma can take, it feels like. An arrow there onto MC, gushes back Saxa. No tail with Topson. We'll be able to keep that sustained push going with the catapult wave. So it gives an opportunity for Wee to keep pushing bot, but Mind Control is just going to die for it. Easy pickings, and now Kuroki's stuck here. With no TP available, Thompson's going to find him. There is no way out for this console. Burst into oblivion. Thompson, one more purifying flames, and a double kill for him. Take out that tier one, and they can now start shifting in for the mid tower. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer are scanning. <laughs> Radiant structures are fortified. The armor of omniscience. I just want you to play like Seb. I just want you to play like Seb. Go farm the ancients. No. Go sit in our triangle and get some gold, mate. I mean, he's playing. He's playing tied. You know. Exact same scenario. Well, PA is getting closer to the battle fury. That is the real big win condition here for Nigma, keeping Miracle safe. And like you've been saying, he's had a reasonably good game so far. Bottom tower. Does we want to pop Exo for this? It looks like he's going to get it done without it. OG, not really want to contest the bottom tier one. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. And that Radiant's one bottom tower OG ward, or I guess the two OG wards up top, they, they see so much here. Allowing No Tail to push out the wave, an extra wave. Sees Mind Control coming in. They know that PA isn't there, so she must be in the triangle. Then. With the Moonlight Shadow, they're going to try and make a play in multiple lanes again. Up at top, they catch out Mind Control, trying to pick off the Tide Hunter, and the TPs are coming up as bottom lane. They try and make a jump, but Seb doesn't find the stun. That was that was a really nice attempt.
Yeah, phase drums, casual gloves of haste. We'll see if it turns into anything, but I doubt it. Like, what's next for Pos 3, Sven? Do you... Oh, roll in. GH trying to make a move on to Omni Knight. Don't know if they can do this into this Radiant Triangle area. They do pop Exorcism, but a good arrow holds back Wii as RTW, the rest of OG, retreating to the left-hand side. Yields up and the catch on No-Tail, forcing out the Guardian Angel, but the Ravage is there. On to Chopson. A nice little ghost after pop, but the Will-O-Wisp will catch him on his way out. Slark, Marana, all having to run. And that Seb Sven, he's on the other side of the map farming. His bottom tower is under attack. No more leaps. Good storm hammer, but Saxa blown up by Wii. Final crit swarm there, and this five-man maneuver in from Nigma, huge. Radiant structures are fortified. Thank you, my beauties. It sure is farming time. But yeah, what's next for position three, Sven? Like, phase drum seems pretty good, but what's his actual big item? Dyer are scanning. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Be fearless! Dyer's structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. RTW trying to fill that role with a good pounce at a fortune's end. Finding Kuro and RTW claiming yet another stack of Angie. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Ooh. Radiant's bottom tower is under Miracle attack. Miracle has no TP. 25 seconds. Topson's invis Dyer's blur. He ran right, he ran back. left. Marana scouting and hunting Radiant's in the trees. Miracle, he's found the one path. He's found the one avenue to escape. Oh, Miracle, you bloody mastermind. Top lane, they're going to find mind control, though. Slark and Sven both converging onto the watermelon. And MC, dead to right. Looks like a couple more hits still required. RTW even popping the Shadow Dance there. Interesting. Radiance top tower has been denied. Yeah. <laughs> no sorceries avail. He ran right, he ran left, he ran up, and then he ran down. He just did this whole little cycle around that bottom lane. Really wonderful reads. I guess you're also worried about like E Blade on Topson when that comes out. Yeah, can't forget it. Seb jumped on by four heroes from Nigma. Uh, no way out of this. 18 one charge is going to keep them up his sleeve for next time. But this means Roshan's alive with Exorcism ready for Nigma. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Label play. <laughs> Gives them a nice five minute window. Yeah, OG can't get in here. They're spreading wide across the map, trying to finish off some of these key items they've been waiting for. That silver edge on Slark's going to be a pretty big one. And he's only 400 gold away from it. Dyer's bottom tower. Omni Knight aiming for a four staff, but he's already got all the items he needs boots, wind lace, wand. That's it. Omni's good. That's a lot of burst damage. Blur is there, roll in, silence. GH stops the follow through. Dyer's Thompson top doesn't top get the finish. Top. And now the Will O' Wisp with the all scepter there. They dagger forward and Saxon is in trouble. They've caught out Thompson. There's the false promise. Can he get away and TP home? He's going to get caught in and hypnotized by the big white light from Kuro. And there's no way that Thompson can retreat now. Kicked out. Spirit Siphon's there. He's healing up a decent amount, but Thompson, he's got no TP. Oh, he doesn't get it. Aegis still in hand. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh, 
Oh, they really want to find Miracle. They could kill him twice here. Slark finds him. That's the Silver Edge used already for the first kill. And the rest of Enigma, they're trying to come down here. Mind Control is coming down. They stun up Miracle, half HP, and he's burst down. Can't Phantom Strike away. He'd just taken the talent. So maybe if we was a little bit closer, there was a chance of escape. But OG, they're on the run forward. The Blinding Light trying to push them back, but Kuroki's been stunned and broken. Slark wants more. And Sven, without Blink, able to close the gap as well. All right, MC. Yeah, you were right. They needed someone to front line and actually you know, kickstart the action. Earth Spirit being eyed up. Hmm. And that cloak. <laughs> oh, dear. Dyer are scanning. Oh, he's body blocked by the creeps. No tail, the wind lace is working Gross. wonders. But Kuro's actually cut him off. Oh, like a guardian angel? What? Oh, he saved himself. Jeez. In comes the rest of OG. They're trying to think about this one. Enigma on the low ground in a kind of an awkward position, but they get the Yules onto the Oracle. Topson's been caught up and stunned, but RTW arrives. The big ramage might control without blink and jump in. Out goes Topson and no tail follows. RTW going for the TP home, but the will of wisp The Hypnotize catches and they've blown them up. Two core heroes plus the Omni all removed as Enigma. Their cooldowns come back up and they really do just run rampant. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yeah, maybe he could have. Poor choice. And Slark. Oh, sucks up. Two leaps left. Looks like he's Radiance all right. Middle tower is under attack. Anyone? Anyone hiding behind her? Still feels like Nigma have like a struggle with keeping their lanes maintained. Like, every time I look at the map, OG has already pushed the lanes across the river. Radiant are scanning. Fear not heresy. Yes. Fourth place in the GPM. Keeps that spot going. Slark. Pretty deep dive here. Again, playing around these long cooldown ultimates. RTW taking Mug Control low, but the silence off the Omni Knight and Miracle. Nice false promise there. Keeps No Tail alive, so the heals will keep coming. They need to get RTW out, though, as we spirit siphoning through them all. Purification comes from No Tail. And we, he's moved up the high ground. He's one versus four, but the Yule Scepter up the fortunes and down. Kicked away. GH saved the day and now rolls away. Oh my god, Nigma really playing it incredibly tight there as Miracle poking, prodding, and getting the jump onto Saxa. Finds the initiation he needs. Gush towards Thompson. Got strength though. Sven wants in. Jumps forward towards the Miracle PA, but they've got the Yules up into the air and now the Will of comes. Dragging both of them inside and Seb's annihilated. We are as godlike. LTW got to run away and arrow will stop the advance of Nigma now. But they're still pinging for more targets. Slark, it looks like he will be able to escape from this, but the rest of them might not be so lucky. Fortune's End doesn't bring him down from the Yules there, but an E-Blade and the magic damage will take out GH. We with that Exo. Oh, he doesn't, does he? Oh, dearie me. Topson picked apart. We and Miracle pairing up beautifully. Illusion. They have Blink Ravage. 
they use it, and they catch the Slark. I don't know if they can see him. They get the Sans on him, they turn with the arrow, the Silver Edge there, Mind Control dropping, but the Yule's on to PA, stops Enigma from blowing anyone else up just now. The trouble is RTW with the Shadow Dance, he's a slippery devil and gets away from danger, but this is OG who have expended a decent amount to try and stay in the fight, and losing a couple of heroes in the process. Slark can't stand up to it. One and a half minutes for Roshan. Oh, do they have revealed the dust from mind control? RTW has gone into his own death, and he is controlled up. The time. Radiance top tower is under attack. Bounty. I think they heard the Silver Edge, and then they were just like, maybe he's coming towards us. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Deso for the tier three. Working wonders here. What's, what's the defense plan? Radiant's top tower. OG don't seem to have one with two heroes dead. Radiant's top barracks has fallen. Radiant's top barracks are under attack. Radiant's top barracks has fallen. LCW pinging the one hero that's Dyer's causing him a lot of misery. Keeper of the Light is missing. <laughs> I wonder if it's No Tail and Seb asking, like, what, what's what's happening in these fights, LCW? What, what's going wrong? He just pings the castle. Him. Kuroki is wrong. The prize is mine. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Fear nothing. And he's letting this you know, Earth Spirit and PA just keep on jumping with the Chakra Magic. The kickback, Sven's pop God Strength, and they've used stop the Cottle, but the arrow there on PA may give them an opportunity. As the BKB from Sven chases forwards towards the Cottle, that's what the ping was for. RTW said, go kill the Cottle, but they can't do it. Stunned back from the Storm Hammer again, and that Will-O-Wisp is kind of wasted. But the jump from Nygma is still continuing forward as the Ghost are falling and Sam is falling. The Ravage comes now, and they focus the big targets. Thompson and Seb both down, and RTW, he is struggling to do any damage. GH is going to be the only hero he can kill as the false promise is there onto the Slark. Now back onto the PA, but Nigma are here in force as the PA and we are triple killing and mega killing through the rest of OG. Who's left now? It's Saxa and RTW. A buyback from No Tail, but Mirana falling. A miracle double. Oh, is RTW going in for this? That is risky. Silent stop. He didn't get dark packed off. That is a lot of damage that he has to really sustain through. They've got no tail behind him. Doesn't get to the high ground. He's still being burst down, but they don't have reveal anymore. Turning on towards the no tail. Omni Knight now could be a dieback from him. All spells on cooldown and no tail. Giving over another streak to Miracle. Miracle just jumps in. Sven's down to like half HP immediately, but it's a good break on the PA and Miracle's dead. Good move from OG with the limited resources they've got, making it work. And yeah, we, BKB TP, nothing to stop it. Arrow slides past the tide. They've got the Yule Scepter up to find mind control. And at least something here. Out of all the buybacks and the desperation from OG, they get something. Yeah, they need to. Oh, he's still got plenty. Tide's courier just up above Roshan. Yeah, <laughs> wanders into the pit like, oh, what's happening in here? 
Roll in from GA, try to make the initiation happen. Kuro is also wandered into the pit and Sev just slays him. Roshan dead, GH snatches it! The Earth Spirit grabs it under the very nose here of the Slark and the Sven. As the arrow in the Yules, the DP gets caught a little bit, but they'll focus the Earth Spirit instead. RTW turning this game on its head as the Wii DP doesn't have BKB. Or will in a second though, Yules up onto that Mirana to try and stop the initiation, but doesn't BKB before the Storm Anna lands. Now the Slark is pummeling into her, pops the EXO and runs away. Trying to get back into battle with the rest of his team, but OG are now the ones with five alive. Seb going in, the Ravage from Mind Control saves up, and Wii's blown up! That E-Blade combo from Thompson! Removing Wii from the game, and they jump back in again from RTW, the next level play! Motel says they've got the PA! She's got BKB. Forced to use it as the fortunes and arrows were coming, but look at RTW! The Kahanas on this man, diving tier fours! He doesn't have Aegis, but he's got cheese. Oh, pushed out. Jaya's middle tower is under attack. Twenty-one. The time. Dyer are scanning. It's all down to the nether shawl on Topson. 8% spell damage. Yule's on the Cotsel. Arrow, of course, always going to be perfectly timed for Saxa and an easy pick. Dead with no buyback for 45 seconds. I mean, OG's tier 4s are being pushed by creeps. There's a catapult in their base. Radiant yeah. are scanning. <laughs> Deary me. And it all, honestly, the turning point is when oh, RCW so pinged the Keeper of the Light and Seb, Seb has just been focusing Cottle every fight. The prize is mine. <laughs> Allies disappear. Yeah, nice to see him going for a solar crest now then. Moonlight Shadow from OG, smoke from Nigma. Slark finds the PA, immediate blur after the break. Arrow. Won't be connecting on anybody. But OG still have a Slight advantage here being still moonlit. GH and no tail having a bit of back and forth. Bonds will break. What a tight. This, this game, this series even, has been really very enjoyable. Wait. Uh, Kuroki just used a, a second smoke in the space of like 30 seconds and he still has two more. This guy is stockpiling smokes. Yeah. Now's our chance, guys. Half an hour. Yeah. Yeah, Tidehunter's kind of stalled a little bit. Went for a ghost step. Oh, that's a nice neutral item, though. Cranky coat. Radiant structures are fortified. <laughs> oh yeah, just let him hit people more. Keep hitting the tide. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Another smoke into smoke. Slark at the front lines. Where's the Ravage? The jump in from my control. No Ravage yet. They get the Guardian Angel off in time. No tell. Cast his spells and they focus the PA with the Slark now. Onto Miracle. They stun him up. Half HP PA. Forced to BKB. And now jump towards Thompson. But the False Promise is there. Roll back in to try and start them off. Stop Thompson getting the magic damage off. But he's got an E-Blade. Gets away from the PA. Keeps jumping forward towards And the Spider Legs. Away from the Will o Wisp. But the Cottle gets off that big white light and forces the Slark to run away from the fight. As GH is the one casualty so far. Forced to buy. 
back. Seb forced after away by No Tail. We giving chase forward still, but RTW turns to face the DP. They have Blink Ravage still. BKBs are down. DP with a good silence, but the Yule's under the tide and the jump towards Sansa. E Blade there saves the Marana. PA Miracle has no BKB. Burst out by Sansa and Topsa. Now under the tide. Mind control. He doesn't even want to use Ravage at this point. They're going to lose Wii, the bigger target, instead, and it really is. Into the meat grind. Enigma Go turned into sausage by OG. Thompson on a killing spree, and Saxa, he's got, oh yeah he does, Yules into Arrow yet again, but Slark finally hit another tasty morsel, a double kill for Slark, a huge fight. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. All one, thanks for that. They've got GH. That Yules into Arrow really is a thorn in their side as he's blown up by the E-Blade and now it's a two versus five. OG could maybe think about going for tier four. They can't go for multiple lanes of barracks. Either it's take this mid lane and then shift back to push out side lanes or they go for tier fours. Dyer's middle barracks are under attack. Yep. Dyer's middle barracks is four. Safety. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. <laughs> Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Invisibility. And now Slark is going through that jungle, finding all the observers and sentries that have been placed down by Nygma. Much Getting rid of all that real wonderful vision that Kuroki has spent a long time placing, along with GH, of course. And it feels like it might be smoke time again. They're all grouped up mid. Fear. Radiant are scanning. Roshan fast spawn is now, and it is a fast spawn. Ten seconds. Yeah. Oh, thank you. RTW so good at playing that recon role, playing frontline as the Slark, Invis, and Shadow Bladed up. But the wraparound from Nigma here, this could. Oh, it's gorgeous on the tops, and they find the jump. Now the Ravage with the Willow has on them. It's huge from Nigma. They've made the jump, but they've got the play. Seb has the BKB and run away. Sucks up. RTW all under the Moonlight Shadow. OG, full retreat into reverse mode. Sucks is still going to get rolled on, though. GH finds the catch somehow. That vision on the high ground. Just about spots them, and RTW is the bigger target, but he BKB TPs. So back to Saxon with the Yules up into the air. No leaps remaining. Two, three quick kills in a row from Nigma, and they know that Tier 4s... Tier 4s are open. Oh yeah, Roche is alive, you're right, of course. <laughs> Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Crystal Blade. Oh man. I was 
I was, uh, just before that fight, I was looking at the graph and seeing, you know, you, you mentioned at 30 minutes, that 10k swing from about 9k lead down to zero, up to 13k I saw at one point for OG, and now it's 2k. That's it. The difference between the two sides, the massive swings. And we got to be a little bit careful in that mid lane, though, as LTW is hunting him. Silver Edge, Basher, trying to get forward with a Storm Hammer, but the jump not coming. OG retreat. GH going for the full roll back to his tier threes. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Oh yeah. Illusion. Time to. S hmm. He can sell that casual sand that he's got for himself. Enigma around the Roche pit, even though the big man isn't in here. They scout out the jump onto Miracle is a pretty good one. Trying to burst through him, and the false promise of the slog will allow that to happen. So OG jump in and jump out. But they're gonna have to shake it here as the no tail Omni Knight starts up. But that's a Minotaur hone on Omni Knight, though. Yeah, hey, he's gonna be able to keep himself alive, but Ravage Duff catches Slark on the very edge of that one. No buyback on Omni Knight. Sven turns the fight, but the ghost set from the tide, and now the will is coming. The BKB from Slark allows him to actually target, focus in onto the PA, but he's got to run with no backup remaining. Sarkson leaps away. Forced to yield and run. Are they chasing? Again, we run. The next label play. The next label play. Let's freaking go. Even without Omni Knight for 30 Dying seconds. Is under attack. Ultw has got. Radiance middle oh, tower. Oh, onto DP attack. maybe? No, 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 no. That's a cheese. <laughs> Radiance middle tower has fallen. And they've got to come back again and deal with that top lane. Tier four has fallen. Radiant are scanning. Does RTW go for it right now? Does he want to hold buyback? It feels like... It feels like the game is getting to this like all-in moment. And here comes Nygma. Oh my god. Sven and the Omni, they jump straight in. The Minotaur Horn, I mean, it buys a second of time for No Tail, but yet again, he's dead without buyback. And another five versus four for Nygma to exploit. <laughs> and I can push that top lane all the way in. Here we go. Scardy, Rapier, Basher, BKB, Silver Edge, trying to finish off Abyssal Blade as well. It is really tower is under on this Slark's shoulders now to stick on that PA and make sure Miracle dies. Oh, that arrow. Dealt with by the Phantom Strike Radiant's back from the PA. And the perfect position really here for Nygma to be in, that Radiant Triangle. Have that dual pronged attack into both the top and the mid lane. Yep. Yeah. Moonlight Shadow. Jump towards Wii. They get the Storm Hammer Arrow combo. Chain stunned him, and that's the damage from my LTW. 
Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. They're finding PA, they're finding... Oh my god, if Miracle stepped up that ramp, he was dead. Topson holding gem. I... Oh, I guess, yeah, it could just be KB. True. Yeah, try and get it out there. All Just under two minutes for break. the first uh, fast Roshan respawn. Plenty of time here for both teams to wait for. Catapult waves are coming as well. The double catapults. So if something goes poorly here for either side, it could be a big push in towards one of the bases. Oh, does Slug finish it? Let me just buys up a vanguard casually. Still another six or well, eight hundred gold actually off of the abyssal blade. It's like very deliberate, very consistent, but looks mental at the same time, the way he jumps in. I think we saw him play Slug the other day as well, where he did have a Magnus on his team and he went Ags in the end, yeah. Scanning. And it looked... Double damage. Yeah. A series winning hero. Roshan, what is the deal? Three seconds to go until we find out. Nigma holding on to one smoke on Kuro. Again? You're kidding. <laughs> Hype series. Yep. <laughs> Look at Nigma again with this really swift wraparound play. Sven spends his Storm Hammer, but a quick blink out by Seb. The Abyssal Blade catch though in for Marty W. The Ravage will stop him in his tracks as we nearly get blown up in terms of the BKB. Slark gets the full force on him, and the Bullet Wisp is there as No Tell blown up completely out off the face of the map. But Miracle, he's in trouble now. Marty W giving chase, Yule's up into the air, and they've got the arrow and the Star Storm. Body blocked from Tide is not enough, and BA's dead for 100 seconds. The Rapiers are all over the place. GH, he's trying to roll himself out of this one, and we next some go star flying around, but Nigma have lost out so heavily. Four heroes down, the double buyback comes, and Cottle shredded now by Saxon with a double kill. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. If you think all coming think back to me, but do not make resurrection. And Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Slark with double rapier on your base now. Game three, potentially coming to a close. No PA, no Tide for a solid minute on both sides. And they've got a Storm Hammer there and a False Promise, allowing LTW just to munch away the rest of Nigma. GG is called, and the series goes to OG.